Today we are going to talk all about Alaska. I have really been thinking about Alaska a lot lately, what it is that draws us to Alaska, why Alaska even matters in the cruise world, as well as um, in the overall picture of everything. And so if you're someone that has been to Alaska before, stick with me. I've got beautiful video to show you um, while I talk about things. But if you're someone that hasn't been to Alaska and aren't even really sure you ever really want to go, you might want to stick around and um, take a look at the footage I'm going to show you and the perspective that I have on why I enjoy going to Alaska so much and why I think Alaska really matters more than we maybe even suspected. So let's go ahead and get started. Hi there, this is Allison with Let's Go Travel Tips. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please hit that subscribe button. We need to have you with us and I think you'll really enjoy being part of our group here. Also, if you appreciate my videos, would you please give this video a thumbs up? Thank you very much. Now let's talk about Alaska. When you think about Alaska, you know, we think of it being the state that's up there to the north. It is more remote. The cruise season is always really big in Alaska. It starts um, usually the beginning of May. Norwegian extends a little bit um, longer than everyone else. They'll start um, earlier in April and then later in October, um, but most of the cruises end in September. So it has a really short cruise season overall when you think of the, um, like when you think of the Caribbean being all year long and uh, other cruises out of the United States, the Mexican Riviera, those cruises go for most of the year. And so here we are with Alaska tucked up there and so many people, almost like a pilgrimage, continue to go to Alaska year after year or every other year or something like that because they enjoy it so much. So what is it about Alaska that draws people to come? I've thought about that a lot, and really, to talk to you about it today, two things inspired me. First of all, um, Gordon and I have been reviewing our cruises for next year. We have several group cruises, and as a general rule, they are bucket list things for us, either places that we want to go or experiences that we want to have, and we thought it would be fun if more people wanted to come along with us. But they're right there for a week at the end of July, July 27th on the Discovery Princess, right out of Seattle. We have got a group cruise to Alaska. It will be the sixth time that I have been to Alaska, the fourth time on Princess. The other two times I went was on Holland America, and I am so excited about that. And there, and I'm not taking that off. If I, if we think we are too, well, we we're dedicated to doing the cruises that we're going to do. But I would never um, not want to go to Alaska as long as I can afford it um, to really enjoy. And truly, Gordon and I really do rearrange our budget to be able to do the cruising that we do. We both work hard and. And um, really um, decide that's really what we're going to be spending our money on. And the other thing that really inspired me is I came across this video that Princess made about visiting Alaska on a cruise. And I really enjoy, I love to look at the videos that cruise lines make because I feel like that will help me be better at what I do, both in my videoing as well as um, telling everyone about everything. And so I came across this video that Princess did and it took my breath away. It made me more excited than ever to be able to go to Alaska again. It has truly inspired me on what we are going to choose to do for our excursions when we go this year. And it really has made such a big difference. So then I thought, well, let me see what the other cruise lines have about Alaska. And I came across one that Celebrity had made. And the other cruise lines don't have videos about Alaska that I have access to because I was willing to give everybody um, equal time here. And so watch the video with me and I think you will start to see, and then I'll tell you some things that I think um, to think about going to Alaska. So here you go. First princess and then celebrity.
Alrighty, so isn't that just spectacular? It just makes you wish that the cruise season to Alaska was starting now and off we were going to go. But truly, one of the things that I think that makes Alaska so unique is that here we are in the year 2023, soon to be 2024, and it is still a pristine wilderness. They have done a remarkable job. The people who developed the national parks there, as well as the other people that um, care for that land up there, have done an amazing job of taking care of it and making at a place that is still beautiful for all of us to come and visit. Can you imagine what Glacier Bay would look like if it wasn't a national park, if people could just go and as many ships as wanted or as many boats as wanted and do whatever you wanted there, it wouldn't be what it is today. And so I think that is one thing that is really special about it. You really do feel a connection with nature there and with um, just being out in the wilderness. It is remarkable. The other really cool thing and why I think cruises are a really good way to see it is that it takes you you know you can go from Seattle which is very accessible the airport there you get right over to the pier in about a half an hour and you're on the ship and then the ports that they take you to are really great jumping off places to go see more whether you want to go more inland or if you're looking for a certain experience like salmon fishing or hiking or you want to take the helicopter to see the glacier all of these things are right there as well as the um, wildlife activities that they have got that you can go well watching. They've got places that you can go to see bears. They've got places that you can go um, that you have a better chance of um, seeing lots of eagles. All of these different things are right there. And all of those animals are wild animals. They're not taking you to the zoo. They're not taking you to a place where they have corralled any of the animals. It is just where they are in nature. So I think that's another thing that is really special about it. Um, finally, um, the other thing I love about Alaska, and I think about this a lot, especially when I go, is you have such a range of people who go there, right? You have um, like young families that go, you have older families, you have multi-generational families, you have real swashbuckling explorers that go on the, the cruise ships and really truly take them from port to port, but the minute that that gangway is down, they are off hiking and exploring and seeing the things that they want to see. That is really their thing. They can hike, they love to hike all day, or or they want to, um, you know, go salmon fishing all day. And then you have people that need to have like a scooter or a wheelchair that they are a little bit more uh, mobility challenged. But there is still a way for them to see it all too, as well as soak up Alaska. And I think that that's really remarkable. It appeals to everyone. I think it's a great place to take um, your family because there truly is something for everyone there in Alaska, something that they will find to enjoy. Um, even with children, when they have uh, Glacier Bay Day and the Rangers get on board, every time I have been, they bought the, brought along these little Junior Ranger workbooks and they go look for things and um, it turns it into a really special day for everybody. So. Um, thinking about that. The other thing that I think is remarkable, when you think of the wildernesses and the places like Alaska on the earth, I feel like Alaska is very accessible. Um, to go to, for example, when we got to go to Antarctica, that required us flying to Buenos Aires, getting on the cruise ship, and then, um, let's see, the next day we went to Montevideo, but then we had um, two or three sea days down to the Falklands, and then it was um, two more sea days to get down to Antarctica. With Alaska, you can easily fly into where you're going, get on the ship, and off you go, and you're immediately seeing what it is you came to see. So I think that's very accessible. Um, the other thing, um, that I think is really important to think about. I just only have those two videos from Princess and from Celebrity, but um, really think about what you want when you go. Do you want um, to look at the um, scenery a little bit, but then have like lots and lots of crazy activities, late, late, late entertainment, all of, you know, more of the party vibe going on on the ship? Or do you want it to be um, like good entertainment, good food, you know, that of course, but a little bit more of focus on the Alaska experience. Um, you have to know um, kind of what you're looking for and then you could have a travel advisor help you find the best match for what it is that you want because you don't want to spend your time and your money in the wrong place because then you won't have the chance to appreciate what you were coming to see 
and um, I really firmly believe that going to Alaska, it really does fill up your soul. You really get to connect with everything there and you need to have the opportunity to do that and you need to take the opportunity to do that. So when you're um, thinking about where to go, when you need to relax and kind of refill, readjust your per perspective, sharpen your vision, I think Alaska is a really good place to do that because you have the opportunity to do things in groups you have the opportunity to spend time um, on your own whether it's on the deck of the ship whether it's walking down a trail whatever it is you have that time to yourself um, to to really um, focus and think about what you want to do now um, another really important thing a part of going to Alaska is the enrichment all of the different ships have different levels of enrichment different things they're going to talk to you about different ways that they're going to do it but go to the enrichment because it gives you um, some education about things so that you know what you're looking at and can appreciate it more. But the really the reason that I think going to Alaska is such a big deal is because it helps you see things you've never seen before and it'll make you look at other things differently. So um, I hope that some of this has kind of helped you see. Um, I love those videos. Um, it, there is I don't know. I don't think I'm doing a very good job of putting into words for you, but I hope it gives you something to think about um, when you think about where you want to go on a really special cruise. If I could only go to Alaska one time, I would go on Princess. And it's not because I love Princess. Um, well, I, I really thoroughly enjoy cruising on Princess, but I've been on Holland America and I have been on cruises on Carnival in Norwegian and uh, Royal Caribbean. And I would go to Alaska on any of them in a heartbeat. I would. I would not stay home because I couldn't go on the one I wanted to go. I would still go. But if I were choosing and only going once, I would want to go on Princess because they they are they are the leader in Alaska and Holland America is right there with them because Holland America has been in Alaska longer than anyone else. They have an amazing history there. So when you're thinking of where you want to go and how you want to do it, I think that's a really important thing. Plus think about who you're going with and what they will enjoy and um, try to come together on uh, picking the cruise line that will work the best to make everyone in your family or your friend group or whatever it is really happy. And so, um, like I said, we do have our group cruise that is going that um, there's a little bit of space left. Um, our ship is filling up and so, um, <clears throat> so if you want to come, let me know. But if you want to go to Alaska, um, I think you should go. And I've really focused an awful lot lately on trying to narrow down what it is that, that Gordon and I really want to do. We have really been working on this and where we really want um, our money to go um, to be able to accomplish the things that we want to do so that we're not spending time and money on things that don't really matter to us because sometimes it's easy to do that. And so um, kind of get out a piece of paper. I love that at the beginning of the year we have the chance to think of things again and start writing down some of the things that you want to get ex to experience, some of the things that you want to see and then do your best to figure out a way um, to do that and figure out when you can do it because if we don't plan we don't ever do it. I am really hoping that in the comments each of you will take a minute and put if you have been to Alaska put in there some of the favorite things that you have done things that really stood out for you and why you would think someone would like to go to Alaska that hasn't been yet. The other thing that I think is really important put the cruise lines that you have been on and the favorite thing that you experienced going on the cruise line that you went on. Alrighty, I think that will help everybody as they read the comments and are trying to sort in the, out in their mind maybe who they would like to go to um, Alaska on, why they would even want to go. Um, yeah, so thank you. So just I hope that something with this today has helped. I really appreciate all of you and I'll be talking to you all again really soon. You all take really good care. God bless you. Love you. Bye-bye.